Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the Seneca Medium 100 cigarettes from the United States, which are a budget cigarette made in Canada by Grand River Enterprises, which is, according to their own website at least, the largest indigenous-owned company in the world, and they sell cigarettes in over 50 different markets around the world, including the United States and Mexico which is a pretty big deal if I do say so myself. But sadly, other than what I just said, I really don't know much about the history of Grand River Enterprises. I don't know when the company first came into existence. I don't know anything like that. And sadly, just like the company that makes these cigarettes right here, I don't know much about these cigarettes right here either. I don't know much about the brand Seneca at all, frankly put. I don't even know when they were first introduced onto the market. If I had to guess though, these have probably been on the US market for, I'm thinking 15, 20 years, maybe longer than that, but I don't know anything for sure. And I'm pretty much just making guesses at this point. And while Seneca as a brand may have been on the market for that long, I don't know anything about this specific variety of Senecas either. If I had to guess, this has probably been on the market for as long as Seneca has, has, has been on the market as a whole, but I don't know anything for sure, frankly put. I really don't know much about these cigarettes right here, I will admit. However, there is one thing that I do know, and it's that these cigarettes right here are probably going to be much better than not. I have previously had a pretty good experience with Seneca cigarettes, and I have previously had a pretty good experience with Grand River Enterprises made cigarettes in general. And so as such, I certainly am expecting a much better smoke from this cigarette right here, that is for sure. Before I go ahead and hop into my expectations though, I do have one thing I wanna say, and that is a huge shout out to Fred Scott for having sent over this pack of cigarettes to my PO box for me to make a review on. Seneca cigarettes are not super hard to find in my local area, but I've never seen this specific variety of Senecas in my area before. And so as such, I certainly am quite excited to try the Seneca Medium 100 cigarettes for the first time. And I certainly am very excited to let you guys know what I think of them as well. Thank you so much once again to Fred Scott for having sent over this pack of cigarettes to my PO box for me to make a video about. I really, really, really do appreciate appreciate it. But what are my expectations for the Seneca Medium 100 cigarettes? Well, taste-wise, I am expecting more so than not a sour and sweet tobacco taste with really not much interesting undertone going on. I am also not expecting any chemical taste, additive taste, or paper taste. Maybe the slightest paper taste, but really not a significant amount. And just enough where it's easy to ignore, I definitely have to say. I am expecting these as a whole to be a much higher quality cigarette than not, and for it to punch above its price point by a pretty significant amount. I'm not expecting these to come off as luxury cigarettes by any means, but I'm definitely not expecting them to be your standard budget cigarette that feels like it's chock full of chemicals and everything like that kind of thing, that is for sure. That is what I'm expecting taste-wise from these cigarettes right here. I'd have to say body-wise, I'm not expecting the biggest body in the world, just simply put, because these are a medium cigarette, but they're also not a light cigarette, so I'm certainly not expecting like a super small body either, but I'm definitely not expecting like the biggest body in the world, especially since these are also a 100 size cigarette. So I'd just have to say I'm expecting, well, a medium body, if I had to guess kind of thing. I'd have to say, Airflow wise, I am expecting the airflow to be perfectly fine in all honesty, probably a little bit lighter than not at the very beginning of the cigarette due to just simply put the 100 size of these cigarettes right here. But I'm not expecting the airflow to be particularly bad by any means. And I'd have to say, draw wise, I am expecting the draw to be a little bit heavier than not. I am thinking these cigarettes might have a line of perforation on the filter, which may make the uh, draw be a little bit lighter than not, a little bit more airy than not, but I'm not certain about that. And in general, even if there is perforation, I'm kind of expecting it to make the cigarette a little bit heavier than not draw wise, I definitely have to say. And so as such, overall, I'm expecting a heavier draw from these cigarettes right here. And roughness and smoothness wise, I'd have to say that I am expecting probably around about a six out of 10, right under a standard full flavored sort of roughness and smoothness, I definitely have to say, which is normally about a seven out of 10, but not super smooth by any means. 
And of course, my roughness to smoothness scale is on a scale of one to 10, with one being the smoothest and 10 being the roughest. And then I'd have to say strength-wise, I am expecting these to very much be a six out of 10, right under what a full flavored would be and right above what a light would be. Really not super strong, not super light either. That's what I'm expecting strength-wise from these cigarettes right here, as indeed they are medium cigarettes. But those are pretty much my expectations for this pack of cigarettes right here. Overall, I am expecting a much better smoke than not. And while I am not expecting a super full flavored smoke by any means, I am certainly also not expecting a light smoke either. And so as such, I uh, certainly am looking forward to smoking these, especially since I think there's gonna be little to none, little to no, chemical or added to taste and everything like that kind of thing, which I will admit is something that I do appreciate. But you know, those are pretty much my expectations for this pack of cigarettes right here. And so I do suppose I should probably go ahead and hop into the packaging of, well, the Seneca Medium 100 cigarettes. After going over the packaging, I'm going to go ahead and get the cellophane all off. I'm going to go and get the pack of cigarettes all opened up. I'm going to go and let you guys know what the cigarettes look like, what they feel like, what the quality of them is like. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get one of the Seneca Medium cigarettes all lit up. And I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what these cigarettes right here actually taste like, what they feel like, and everything about them kind of thing. Then after that, I'm going to go and give you guys my final thoughts on these cigarettes. And then after that, I'm going to go and give them a rating as well. But first off, as said, we got to start with the packaging, which I will admit is a much more budget look than not, but is a pretty unique, detailed budget look that is for sure. And it's by no means the most aesthetically pleasing packaging in my personal opinion, but it's still much better than not kind of thing. It's still much better than not. And this is pretty good looking packaging in my personal opinion, aesthetics wise, at least from a functionality perspective, in my personal opinion, this packaging, more so than not, comes off like a full flavored pack of cigarettes. The Seneca full flavors have an entire red um, background. Like the white up here is all in red and everything like that kind of thing. So those look even more full flavor. But if you don't know what the Seneca full flavors look like, I think it would be very easy to get this confused with being a full flavor just simply because there is blue, uh, not blue, get more gel jumbled up just because there is red all over the center of the packaging and everything like that kind of thing. From a functionality perspective, I don't think that these are really super obvious as being a medium cigarette from a distance, I definitely have to say, but it is a much better, more interesting look than not that I will admit I am a bigger fan of than not that is for sure. And I do suppose the fact that they're not super distinct as a medium from a distance is not a super big deal because it does indeed say that these are mediums on the packaging. So once you get it in your hand, you know exactly what it is. But those are kind of my overall thoughts on the aesthetics of the packaging and on the uh, functionality, the packaging and everything like that kind of thing. I think the packaging as a whole for a budget cigarette especially is uh, pretty good in all honesty. And while it does look like a budget cigarette, it's still got a much more interesting look to it than not. So I certainly cannot complain that is for sure. But I do suppose without further ado, I should probably go ahead and now start actually covering the details of the packaging. So let's go ahead and start off with the background of the packaging. We can see the background up here is just a very nice basic white, I definitely have to say. Really not too much going on on the top of the packaging right here, and really not too much going on on the bottom of the packaging right here. But there are some little details on either side as well that are in the foreground, not in the background, I definitely have to say. But the background, Pretty basic white, I definitely have to say, both on the top and the bottom. The background in the middle gets a little bit more interesting, but I'll be covering that once I cover what's going on with the top of the packaging in the foreground. We can see there is a little bit of a rectangle right here in silver with a black border going all the way around it. And then there's a white text in the uh, middle of that a silver rectangle, I definitely have to say, that says premium right there. Uh, yeah, these are definitely premium cigarettes. Uh, well, when compared to other budget cigarettes, in my personal opinion, this is a premium choice, but, but, by no means are these actually premium cigarettes. That's just something put on there to just sell them and everything like that kind of thing. Like, oh, look, we're premium cigarettes at a budget price. Are they really? Not really kind of thing. When compared to other budget cigarettes, they're pretty good kind of thing, but, but, well, I don't know if this specific variety is pretty good, but I do know that Seneca's as a whole have been pretty good kind of thing. But are these really premium cigarettes? Not really kind of thing, not really. So it is pretty amusing that that's on there, but hey, they gotta sell the cigarette kind of thing, so I can't hate on it one bit. Below that in, I'd have definitely have to say a sort of burgundy red, not a super bright red, more of a dark red, I definitely have to say, more of a dark red. We can just see it just says medium 100s right there. No sort of drop shadow, nothing like that kind of thing. Just says medium 100s. And of course, that's just the variety name of this specific pack of cigarettes right here. On the bottom of the packaging down here, we can just see in silver, it just says America's Finest Blend. 
Once again, going for the whole premium thing up here where they're really trying to sell the cigarette and everything like that kind of thing. I don't know if it's really America's finest blend, I will admit. Do I have doubt that it will be a good blend of tobacco? I, I don't doubt that it will be a good blend of tobacco. I think it might be a bit of an overstatement to say that it's America's finest blend, though. But, I mean, like, hey, they got to sell the cigarettes. I certainly can't hit on that too much, that is for sure kind of thing. But that's pretty much what's going on on both the uh, top and the bottom of the packaging. And moving on to the center of the packaging, this is where the interesting stuff really starts, in my personal opinion. I'm going to go ahead and start with the foreground, though, the foreground of the foreground, which is uh, this little bit of a oval right here which is all in silver with a bunch of black details in it. We can just see that silver sort of oval right there has a black border going all the way around it. And in the center of that silver oval, there is a Native American right there, which is wearing, who is wearing a uh, crown of feathers. I definitely have to say a very, very, very detailed uh, look for such a small design. I certainly can't hate on that, that is for sure. And that is something that I very much do appreciate. Is it really metallic or anything? It doesn't really come off like super metallic, maybe a little bit metallic in the sun. I can't really tell with the cellophane being as it is right now, though, I will admit. Below the, uh, or I do suppose, well, not really below, like below, like right here where the Seneca logo itself is, but like below, as in the background under the actual like oval right here and everything like that kind of thing. The, the background under the oval is very, very, very interesting if I do say so myself, and that's what I'm going to cover next. We can just see the background is a bunch of red mountains, a bunch of snow-capped red mountains. We can see like some snow down here, some snow up here and everything like that kind of thing. And then they kind of just go down and then we hit like a forest down here, which is pretty cool. And then we can see there's a lake and the reflection of the trees can be seen in the lake right there. And same with the mountains and the white at the top of the mountains is a little bit more faded out. I definitely have to say, and it has a little bit more of like a sort of reflection-y look, just a little bit is the color. The color's like a little bit different kind of thing, a little bit less distinct. I definitely have to say it has a little bit more of a sort of reflection-y look to it kind of thing, which is really, really, really nice and is really, really, really unique. If I do say so myself, this is the same overall design that you can see on most Seneca cigarettes. I'll be with different colors, but it is a good look on all the other Seneca cigarettes, and it's a good look on this pack of Sen Senecas as well. And I really love the sort of mountaintops with the white peaks, with the with the snowcap peaks, with the trees down here, and then it reflects in the in the lake or something like that kind of thing. It's such an interesting and unique look that I have not ever seen any other cigarette pack do before, which is really 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 cool. I've never seen any other cigarette pack have a design with a with with a reflection built in kind of thing that is. Is really cool if I do say so myself and it's something that I really 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 like about the background of the middle of this packaging right here moving on below the oval right here though and moving on above the actual background of the center of the packaging I do suppose probably the right way to put it we can actually see the Seneca logo itself which is all in white with a black border going around all of the text with a is that a little bit of a drop shadow now it's just more of a border than anything one thing to mention, though, that I actually didn't notice until just now is that on the inside of the black border, there is a little bit of a silver border going around the white text as well. Overall, giving the text a more distinct look than not, I definitely have to say. Yeah, not a bad look at all. Is there any sort of drop shadow or anything like that? Kind of thing? No, it's really just the border in all honesty. And I do feel like, no, I was about to say I felt like the border was a little bit bigger at the bottom than at the top. Maybe it is, but it's really hard to tell in all honesty. It's really hard to tell. And I do kind of doubt that that's actually what's going on, I will admit. I feel like it's just the border, and I feel like I'm just kind of tricking myself in all honesty. The Seneca logo itself... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Get my words. Just a little bit jumbled up. I, I need to uh, take a little bit of a sip of water. And man, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I have been trying to concentrate so hard. I have been trying to concentrate so hard. But the rain, I, I came to this spot when it was not raining at all. And, not, and the moment I started like setting up to record, it started raining like it is right now and everything like that kind of thing. Or um, maybe not the moment I started to record, but at the very beginning of the video, it started to rain like it is right now. And it is distracting me a decent amount, I ain't gonna lie, because the roof on this building, as we can see like right over here and everything like that, it is a metal roof, so it is quite noisy if I do say so myself. So it's distracting me a little bit, but I'm doing my best to uh, keep my focus on the game and keep my focus on uh, 
doing a, a good review of these cigarettes right here and everything like that kind of thing that is for sure but the rain definitely do be a little bit distracting i can lie it definitely do be a little bit distracting but also it's kind of the vibe in all honesty the rain is kind of the vibe like it's kind of nice to just hear the pitter patter of the rain and everything like that kind of thing that is for sure it is kind of nice but it is also a little bit distracting i will admit as well excuse me had to burp just a little bit let's go ahead and continue on with the packaging though I think the Seneca logo itself, though, looks pretty good. It's not a super unique look by any means kind of thing, but I definitely have to say it is a little bit more distinct from not than it. Uh, it is a little bit more distinct than not from a distance, although not super readable by any means kind of thing. And this packaging as a whole from a distance is definitely more distinct than not. If you know what you're looking for, you're going to be able to find it quite easily. And if you know that this, if you, if you know that Seneca's generally look like this, you're going to be able to recognize this immediately from a distance as from, from a distance as a Seneca cigarette, just due to the mountain and the reflection, just due to the mountains and the reflections and everything like that kind of thing. However, it's not super obvious that this is a Seneca medium 100 from a distance, I definitely have to say. But as a whole, the Seneca logo itself, not a super bad look by any means kind of thing. And it's a more basic budget look than not, but not a bad look by any means. Below the Seneca logo itself, we can just see it just says medium right there in white, just right along the tree line. And then in the reflection, it just says 100s right there. And I've already covered what goes, what's going on with the bottom of the packaging and with the top of the packaging up here and everything like that kind of thing. So that's pretty much all there is to the front of the packaging. Overall, what are my thoughts on the front of the packaging? Well... I think it is more distinct than not from a distance as a Seneca branded cigarette, but not really as a Seneca medium cigarette, I definitely have to say. Although if you know what you're looking for, it's gonna be pretty easy to spot these on the shelf in my personal opinion. But as a whole, the packaging in my personal opinion comes off more so than not as a budget cigarette, but very much as a budget cigarette with a well thought out look that I really, really, really do appreciate. I really like the look of this pack of cigarettes and I really do think it is one of the better, more detailed looks from a budget cigarette that I have seen previously. And it's a look that I like a decent amount. But yeah, as I'm sure you guys can tell, I like this packaging more so than not. It's not like my favorite packaging by any means. And from an aesthetic point of view, it is definitely not my favorite packaging by any means. And even from a functionality point of view, it's definitely not my favorite packaging by any means, but it's definitely above average in my personal opinion. And I certainly cannot hate on this packaging one bit. I do like it more so than not, that is for sure. But I do suppose without further ado, I should probably go ahead and cover this side of the packaging. We can see one more thing I really like about this packaging, and that is that the design stretches around. That's right, y'all. The design stretches around. I love that. I love, absolutely love that the design on this pack of cigarettes stretches around. Like it cuts off on this side just simply because the Surgeon General warning is right here and everything like that. That's understandable, but it does stretch around to this side, which is so dang nice if I do say so myself. And it is very much appreciated. And it's not like the design cuts off and then kind of restarts. No, no, no. The design is fluid. It fluidly goes to this side and everything like that kind of thing. I love that. Once again, we can see the white sky or the white background at the very top right here. And then we can see snow-capped peaks. And then we can see a little bit of a forest down here. And then it kind of cuts off down here with the barcode and everything like that kind of thing. At the top in black, it just says 20 Class A cigarettes right there. And then in silver, once the design actually starts, we can just see it just says made under the authority of tobacco uh vill usa inc usa and then it just says under that made in canada 54 tl 25 i'd assume made under the authority of tobacco bill usa just means that it is like the um the united states distributor of um grand river enterprises or something like that kind of thing i figure that's probably um what the whole Tobaccoville thing means. It doesn't say anywhere on this pack that these are made by Grand River Enterprises, but they are indeed. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to the side of the packaging right here besides the barcode. We can of course see that these are FSC compliant as well, which of course makes sense because this pack of cigarettes was definitely made after 2012. But that's pretty much all there is to this side of the packaging. Let's go and go over to the other side now. And we can just see once again, or no, not once again, on this side it says 20 Class A cigarettes. And then on this side, it just says underage sale prohibited. For some reason, I thought it said that 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 on this side as well, but no, I was wrong. It just says underage sale prohibited on this side. And then we could just see the Surgeon General warning right here, just completely interrupting the uh, mountain design, which is a little bit annoying, I will admit, but nothing you can do about it kind of thing. It is a governmental regulation after all. It's a regulatory thing. You got to be careful with that sort of stuff. The Surgeon General warning just says, smoking by pregnant women may result in fetal injury, premature birth, and low birth weight. 
Well, thankfully, I'm not a pregnant woman, so I don't have to worry about that. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to that side of the packaging. So now let's go ahead and cover the back of the packaging as well. And we can see the back of the packaging is pretty much the exact same look as the front, but with some minor differences. We can see the premium text right here is in the exact same spot it was on the front of the packaging. There is now no medium text on the back of the packaging. And that text, where that text would have been, is now replaced by a larger uh, oval logo right here with the Native American with the crown of feathers just kind of chilling and vibing right there and everything like that kind of thing. This logo on the front has been made much bigger on the back. Other than that, the design as a whole is pretty much the exact same as the front of the packaging. So I certainly can't complain. It's a pretty good look. Is the Are the mountains on the back of the packaging actually different than the mountains on the front? No, they are the exact same. They're the exact same mountains. It's not different mountains, sadly, or anything like that kind of thing. They're not different mountains, sadly. And sadly, the design right here does not transfer as fluidly, although you really can't notice that it doesn't. But if you really look at it, it doesn't transfer super fluidly like it does the, to this side to this side. But that very much is what it is kind of thing. It is quite literally the exact same look as the front of the packaging, but with some very minor differences. And that's pretty much all there is to the back of the packaging. So now let's go ahead and cover the top of the packaging as well. We can just see it just says Seneca right there, medium 100s right there, and that sort of burgundy red. The Seneca logo itself is all in white with a black border. And I definitely have to say there's a drop shadow on the top right here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the uh, top of the packaging. Really not much going on. Just lets you know what brand these are and um, what the variety is. And I do suppose you could argue that the design stretches around from the front of the packaging into the, and from the back of the packaging and from all the sides to the top because the background on the top is white as well. Certainly no complaints on my behalf about that. That is for sure. Overall, just a pretty basic look kind of thing. Really not much, really not too much going on, I will admit, but not a bad look by any means. Just tells you what you need to know. And the bottom of the packaging is pretty much the exact same. It pretty much is the exact same. It is literally the exact same, I want to say. But, you know, that's pretty much all there is. Uh, actually, no, the... The top of the packaging seems to have more of a drop shadow than the bottom of the packaging. This seems to have more of a border, whereas this, it's the, whereas this, the black is more of a drop shadow, which is a little bit interesting. So there are minor differences, but it is more so than not the same. Still, Seneca medium 100s right there, and that is pretty much all there is to the packaging. Overall, as I'm sure you guys can tell, I like this packaging more, th more, more so than not, and I think that as a budget cigarette, this stuff looks pretty good. And while it may not be a premium cigarette or America's finest blend. I do still think the cigarette packaging looks much better than not, and I think it has a pretty unique look, especially for a budget cigarette, while still maintaining a very budget cigarette look and not going up into like mid-range or luxury cigarette territory by any means kind of thing. Overall, I think whoever designed this did a pretty good job, and they designed it to look interesting while still maintaining a budget look. I gotta give them props, you know what I'm saying? I gotta give them props. Without further ado though, let's go ahead and get the cellophane all off. And let's go ahead and take a look at the quality of the packaging real quick. I'm just going to go and shove the cellophane in my backpack. Can't be littering or nothing like that kind of thing. That would be bad after all. Let's go and just take a look at the quality of the packaging real quick. And right off the bat, the quality of the packaging is really good in all honesty. There's really nothing for my fingers to grab onto at all kind of thing. Yeah. Wow. I am actually, I am actually impressed. I am actually impressed. This quality. Wow. Like you don't usually, you don't usually see hard packs of cigarettes that are really anything but average quality packaging, frankly put. And pretty much every single hard pack cigarettes has at least like one side where your finger can grab onto it kind of thing. But this really has nothing like it comes close, but really nothing. This is like slightly above average quality packaging from a budget cigarette. I can't complain. That is for sure. I really can't complain. Wow. I am surprisingly impressed i am surprisingly impressed i really wasn't expecting that that is for sure well certainly no complaints on my behalf i ain't gonna lie y'all but what is the feeling of the uh packaging actually like it's very much just printed paperboard sort of a, a printed paper sort of texture it's a printed paperboard there's no sort of texture changes or anything like that this is a budget cigarette after all there's also no embossment at all on this packaging really nothing too unique going on feeling wise with this packaging by any means but quality wise yeah like this box is put together pretty well. I can't complain that is for sure. Definitely slightly above average quality packaging in my personal opinion. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes all opened up. We can see there's nothing on the cigarette lid itself, on the cigarette pack lid itself. And we can see there's a, that the, um, get my wardrobe jumbled up. And we can see that the cigarette insert right here is pretty basic as well. And same with the foil. The foil itself is pretty basic as well. It just says pull right there in a 
very unique font, but not really a font that matches very well with this packaging, I will admit, but it just says pull right there. What is the texture of the foil like? While it's very much a paper foily texture, I definitely have to say really not too much interesting stuff going on. Let's go and see how easily it pulls out. Pulls out very easily, a little bit of resistance, but pulls out very cleanly, very easily. I cannot complain one bit. I'm gonna go and put that down. Put the foil in my backpack, can't be littering or nothing like that after all. And I'm gonna go and take another sip of water real quick. And now that I have done that, let's go ahead and get one of these Seneca Medium 100 cigarettes all out. And let's go and take a look at what these cigarettes actually look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. So we can see that the filter that this cigarette right here uses is a cork style filter, just like the Seneca Full Flavoreds. And I'm pretty sure that this literally uses the exact same filter as the Seneca Full Flavored, the Seneca Red 100s. Because the Seneca Red 100s have a cork style filter, if I'm remembering correctly, uh, with a red line right there that just says Seneca right there. These have the exact same uh, design. So look wise, these are indistinguishable from the Seneca Full Flavored 100s, the Seneca Red 100s. It makes sense as a budget brand to reuse everything you have time and time and time again, though, so I really can't hate on it. But as a cigarette, these could be very easily confused as a Seneca Full Flavored if you just handed the cigarette to somebody without them seeing the packaging. But that's really not too big a deal, I will admit, because more than likely, you're going to know what these are because it says so on the packaging. But if you do see a cigarette that looks like this on the ground, well, it could be either a Seneca Medium 100 or a Seneca Full Flavored 100. Who knows? You're never gonna know in all honesty. But let's go ahead and take a look at the quality of the cigarette itself. The quality of the cigarette seems pretty good. I'm seeing a little bit of staining on the paper, but that's really not too big a deal. And that's not any, an implication of any lower quality or anything like that kind of thing. That's just nicotine and tobacco staining. Not a super big deal if I do say so myself. We can see the filter as said is very much a cork style filter. At the bottom of the cork style filter, there is a sort of burgundy red line right there going all the way around. And then we can just see in red, it just says Seneca right there. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. It looks pretty good. Just says Seneca right there as said. Cannot complain one bit. This is a budget cigarette, but it still says Seneca on the cigarette itself. Well, I can't complain about that. That is for sure. A lot of budget cigarettes sold inside the United States. They're so budget where it doesn't even say anything on the filter. This is not that way which is something that is very much appreciated, I will admit. I like being able to see what cigarette it is um, just on the cigarette itself. That's it's, it's something that's really appreciated. And honestly, they put more effort into making this known that it's actually a Seneca than some more mid-range cigarettes, which is pretty funny if I do say so myself. And it would not surprise me at all if these cigarettes smoke more like a mid-range cigarette than a budget cigarette, even though they are very much a budget cigarette, price-wise at least. Is there any perforation on the filter? Let's see, I'm trying to see, get good lighting. I, uh, right off the bat, am not seeing any perforation on the filter, I'm not. I'm trying to, trying to take a look with some good lighting. Should have brought my reading glasses with me today because the lighting is pretty bad out here. A lot of perforation, it's kind of hard to see without like really bright lighting. I don't, feel like I'm seeing any perforation. Maybe there's one line right there, but I don't think, I don't think that's perforation. I think that's just the paper having a little bit of a, a change in it or something like that kind of thing. I'm not seeing any perforation, none at all. None at all, quite interesting. Well, I do suppose I'll find out once I get to smoking though, but I'm not noticing any lines of perforation on the filter right now, which is a pretty interesting thing if I do say so myself, especially for a medium cigarette. I mean, like a full flavored cigarette, you'd think would be the one without any lines of perforation on it. A light, you'd expect there to be perforation on it, but a medium, I was kind of thinking that there'd be a very small line of perforation on it, but no, none at all. Wow, I can't complain. It's kind of half between there being no lines of perforation or be there being a line of perforation, but no line of perforation. I can't complain, that is for sure. You know, look-wise, not too bad. Cork style filter, as said, white paper going all the way down. Not a bad look. No, uh, no perforation, as said, from what I can tell, at least. And uh, let's go and take a look at the blend of the tobacco itself. The blend of the tobacco very much seems to be a medium blend of tobacco, in my first opinion. There's a decent amount of light aspects, but a little bit more of a dark aspects than not, I definitely have to say. I'd have to say this is more so than not a uh, medium to dark, or if not, just a medium blend of tobacco. Not too dark, not too light by any means. Pretty typical for an American blend cigarette, I definitely have to say. And uh, smell-wise, 
This cigarette smells pretty good. I am gonna grab another one out of the pack just real quick, just so I can smell it really fresh and everything like that kind of thing. And I'm gonna put this one back in the pack just so I can get a really fresh smell from it because I feel like the smell has probably gone away just a little bit from that one. And yeah, I got a little bit more of a fresh smell from this one, so I certainly cannot complain. What is the smell of this cigarette like though? I'd have to say it is very much a... Slightly sour. Slightly hay-like. Slightly sweet tobacco smell. I don't know. I don't know if I'm describing it the right way. It smells very unique. It smells very unique. And it's been a while since I've smelled a cigarette that smells quite like this one. I will admit. I'm going to smell the inside of the pack real quick. Huh. It's, this smell is hard to recognize. Oh, wait. It's coming off almost like dried fruit. That's kind of what it is. Maybe, maybe, I don't know if that's right. It's coming off. I'm having a lot of trouble pinpointing what the smell of these cigarettes are. I will a lot of trouble pinpointing what the smell of the cigarettes are. It's kind of odd though, because it, the, the the cigarette itself does smell a little bit like sort of old paper as well. I, I'm pretty confident in saying that these are not super old cigarettes. They might be a year or two, maybe three years old at this point, but I, I don't think they're any older than that. So I'm wondering if that smell is coming from the paper or the tobacco, but they do have a little bit of a sort of maybe dried fruit, like sort of citrusy, old paper, like slightly sour, slightly sweet smell. I don't know. I feel like I'm describing the smell really badly and I probably am in all honesty, but it's a really, it's, it's a smell that I, I, I've gotten really used to smelling cigarettes. I've tried over 200 cigarettes at this point. I've given reviews to over 200 cigarettes at this point in time now, if I'm remembering correctly. And, I've gotten pretty decent at recognizing smells from cigarettes. Not to toot my own horn, just a little bit. This one though is really throwing me for a loop. It's really throwing me for a loop and I really am struggling to really determine what the smell of these cigarettes actually are. I'm gonna give it one more go. Okay, I'd have to say, I'm just gonna go ahead and just commit to it. It's very much an old paper, dried fruit, slightly sweet smell. I don't feel like that's right at all, but that's what I'm committing to kind of thing. It doesn't smell bad. Like you'd think old paper would smell bad. It doesn't smell like old paper in a bad way. It just kind of does. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. And the rain is really coming down, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Glad I chose a spot out of the rain that is for sure. Well, I think that's pretty much all I had to say about the packaging, about the look of the cigarette, quality of the cigarette, blend of the cigarette, smell of the cigarette, everything like that kind of thing. And so I do suppose there's only one more thing left for me to do, and that is to go ahead and smoke one of the Seneca Medium 100 cigarettes for the first time. And I do suppose I should probably let you guys know how these cigarettes actually are as well. But first off, before I go ahead and get this cigarette right here all lit up, I should probably get my lighter out of my pocket. That is kind of a necessity now, isn't it? But I do suppose without further ado, now that I have my Bic Mini out of my pocket, I suppose I should probably go ahead and get one of my Seneca Medium 100 cigarettes all lit up. And I should probably go ahead and let you guys know how these actually are. Excuse me, I had to burp just a little bit. But now that I'm all ready to get this all lit up, let's go ahead and get it all lit up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. I 
And right off the bat, I do feel like there is perforation. I just feel like it's so small where you can't see it with the naked eye. I'm gonna go and grab myself a little bit of a screenshot real quick. Keep trying to go in my eye. Hopefully that will do for a screenshot. Right off the bat, the taste of these is really good. I'm getting a really nice sort of fruity taste right now, I definitely have to say. Really, really, really nice taste. No sort of old paper taste at all, I definitely have to say. Getting a really nice sort of fruity taste. Not really like tangy or sour, like a little bit tangy, but not really sour. It's just very much a sort of sweet, fruity taste, which is really, really, really nice right off the bat. I'm actually, I'm right off the bat, I hope it keeps with the same taste. I hope the taste doesn't degrade as I continue smoking the cigarette. But the taste right off the bat is really nice from these. Body is uh, not badly sized at all kind of thing. It's not the biggest body in the world, but certainly also not the smallest. I definitely have to say it is very much a medium body, which makes sense because this is a medium cigarette. I definitely say airflow wise. The airflow is perfectly fine. No complaints on my behalf. And draw wise. I'd have to say the draw is a little bit heavier than not. While I do feel like there is a very, very, very small line of perforation, I do feel like it's making the draw heavier and not really more airy. It's just making it heavier kind of thing. So the draw is about perfect for my personal preference, I definitely have to say, certainly no complaints on my behalf. But it's not too heavy by any means. Definitely not as heavy as something like, let's say, an American Spirit. Just about perfect for my personal preference. And I'd have to say roughness and smoothness wise. These cigarettes are very much what I was kind of thinking, very much a six out of 10 on the roughness and smoothness scale. Not super rough, not super smooth by any means either. Definitely not quite as smooth as a light cigarette, but definitely rougher than a full flavored cigarette in my, per and definitely rougher, definitely not quite as smooth as a full flavored, but definitely smoother than a full flavored. Let me just put it that way kind of thing to say it correctly. And I definitely say strength wise right off the bat, this does not hit like a full flavored and it's not quite hitting like a light either. It does hit more like a light, I'd say, but it's definitely not quite as light as a light. This is definitely a medium cigarette by every, fa by every facet in my personal opinion. There's only one more thing to talk about though. I've covered pretty much everything else. I'm gonna test the body one more time as we get towards the end of the cigarette, but now I need to actually talk about what the taste is actually like. Yeah, I'm not getting any sort of, I'm not getting any sort of chemical taste, paper taste, additive taste, anything like that. Very, very, very nice if I do say so myself. I'm getting a little bit of Atari taste in there but it's not a super big deal by any means. There is a little bit of roughness in the back of my throat as well being caused by both the smoke and the taste. But I have to say the taste more so than not is a very nice, mildly sweet fruit-like taste with really almost no sourness in there at all. Really no sourness in there at all really no tanginess at all kind of thing. It is just a very nice, mildly sweet, fruity taste. Almost like, not like an apple taste, not like an apple taste, more like a plum taste or yeah, like a plum-like taste, I'd say, like a plum-like taste. Very much still distinctly fruity, but not by any means, not by any means citrusy. Well, no, slightly citrusy, but not like 
citrusy where you've got like a little bit of tang in there kind of thing. Let me put it that way. If it did have a citrusy taste, it wouldn't really come off like a fruit now, would it? Excuse me. Yeah, definitely a much more high quality taste than would be expected from a full flavored cigarette. And it's been a couple years since I last tried Seneca's. And so I was kind of wondering if they were gonna live up to what I remembered from a couple years ago. Yeah, they're living up. It's living up to what I remember. It is just as good as I remember, I ain't gonna lie. The Seneca brand as a whole, just as good as I remember. Grand River Enterprises cigarettes uh, made, made cigarettes as a whole are pretty good. I, I really, I mean like I've had some cigarettes by them I don't like just because they're too light, but I've never genuinely tried a bad cigarette from them. Yeah, definitely that little bit of tarry taste is the most distracting thing in there. There is a little bit of a tarry taste and that really is the main sort of aspect of the cigarette. That comes off as lower quality than not, but if you ignore the tarry taste, the taste of the cigarette as a whole is really good, really enjoyable. I really cannot complain. Yeah. Okay, so describe the so to describe the taste in its full glory, I'd have to say it is a mildly sweet, very slightly tangy, but not sour, fruity taste, almost like plum, that has a little bit of a roughness to it, and a little bit of a tarry taste as well. And there's the tiniest bit of a sour taste, but it's really not significant. It's really not significant at all kind of thing. Overall, a really, really, really nice tasting cigarette that is very much to my personal preference. It's not too sweet. It's uh, not really sour at all kind of thing. Very, very, very nice smoking cigarette, if I do say so myself. So certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Test the body one more time. Very much still a medium body in my personal opinion. And honestly, as I continue smoking this, I am more and more unsure as to whether there is actually perforation on the filter. I don't know. I really don't know if there's perforation on the filter. I have no idea. There might be, there might not be. I don't know. It doesn't really make a super big, it, it's not really, it doesn't really make a, it's not really a super big deal either way though. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. Yeah. Do I like these cigarettes? I'd say more so than not, yeah. They're not like exactly to my personal preference, but they're not bad smokes, especially for the price if you ask me. And they definitely for the price have a much more unique taste than not. I think that's pretty much all I had to the cigarette though. So I'm gonna go ahead and stub it on the ground. And I'm gonna go ahead and start giving you guys my final thoughts. We can see though, before I give you guys my final thoughts, that the filter starts right about here, right where the uh, top of my finger is right there, right under where the red line, uh, right on, right where the uh, Seneca text is and everything like that kind of thing starts right there but I'd recommend stubbing it out where I stubbed it out because that's just where the thicker paper starts and you're not gonna get as good of a taste due to the thicker paper with ink on it and everything like that kind of thing. But, oh, and the ash is still burning just a little bit. Gotta make sure I get that out. Can't be causing no forest fires or nothing like that kind of thing. That is for sure. I do suppose building fire because I'm right next to a building right now, but can't be causing nothing like that. But, but I think I've described the taste and it's uh, full glory to a significant extent, extent to not need to describe it anymore, but the taste as a whole was fantastic. But what are my final thoughts on the Seneca Medium 100 cigarettes? Well, I think the packaging is very much a budget look, but it is a much more unique budget look than not. That while might not be distinct uh, from a distance as a medium cigarette is distinct as a dis from a distance as a Seneca cigarette, I definitely have to say. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. And as a whole, it's a much better look, much more detailed look than not. So I certainly cannot complain that is for sure. I definitely have to say that the inside of the packaging, pretty basic look kind of thing. The cigarettes themselves are a pretty basic look than not, but definitely much, much less basic than not for a budget cigarette. And I'd have to say smoking wise, the cigarette as a whole, as a whole for the price, very much a unique taste. I got a very nice sort of mildly sweet, mildly fruity, almost like plum-like taste with a little bit of tang in there. The tiniest bit of sourness, really ignorable though, very much covered up by the sweetness. And the main low quality aspect of these cigarettes right here was very much a tarry taste. 
So even though these are a medium cigarette, they're very much a little bit tarry, I definitely have to say, from the get-go, but really it's not significant. You can easily ignore it. I'd have to say the body, not super big, not super small, very much medium airflow, not bad at all, perfectly acceptable. The cigarettes themselves did not burn super fast, which is very nice. And I'd have to say, roughness smoothness wise, the um, cigarettes were very much like a six out of 10, definitely smoother than not, but not quite as smooth, smooth as a light, if you ask me. And I'd have to say, like draw wise, a little bit of a heavier draw, but not super heavy by any means. And strength wise, very much a medium st strength kind of thing. Not quite a full flavored, not quite a light either. Definitely very much a medium strength in my personal opinion. As a whole, what do I think of these cigarettes? They're pretty good. These are pretty good smokes, especially for the price. Anytime anybody asks me for a good budget cigarette in the United States, my immediate answer is more so than not, unless I forget for some reason, Seneca's. Seneca's are really good budget cigarettes in my personal opinion, and this is another good Seneca. Yeah, would I buy this pack of cigarettes again? If I was looking for a budget medium cigarette, I wouldn't mind this cigarette one bit, I will admit. But I do have cigarettes I'd much rather buy over this. However, if I'm looking for a cheap cigarette that gives me a more unique taste than not and no sort of chemical taste, added taste, or paper taste, because I got none of that from this cigarette right here, I do think I would buy these again. And I do think I will certainly, well, I would buy them again. I didn't actually buy this pack of cigarettes right here. I was sent these by Fred Scott. Thank you very much once again, Fred Scott. But I would buy this pack of cigarettes with my own money. Let me just put it that way kind of thing. And am I gonna enjoy smoking the rest of this pack? I will indeed. They're a little bit too light for my personal pre preference, which is another aspect of why I might not want to buy them again. Um, super consistently, that is. But if I was looking for, in specific, not a full flavored cigarette, more of a medium cigarette, I'd definitely buy these again. But more so than not, I want a full flavored cigarette. And so as such, I'd much rather buy the full flavored version of Seneca's. But these are not bad smokes by any means, and I'd definitely buy them again. Although I'd much rather buy the full flavored Seneca's over these or other cigarettes that I prefer more over these. But what is the rating I'm thinking for these Seneca medium 100 cigarettes? Well, for the packaging, for the smoking experience and everything like that, I'm thinking a solid, these are definitely above average, definitely above average. But they're not strong enough to be to my personal preference. There is that little bit of a tarry taste in there and these are 100 size cigarette, which is not exactly to my personal preference. I think I'm gonna say a seven and a half out of 10. I think I'm gonna say a seven and a half out of 10. I think that is deserving for this pack of cigarettes right here. If the Seneca full flavors are like, let's say an eight out of 10, these are a seven out of 10 in my, uh, not sorry, not a seven out of 10, seven and a half out of 10 in my personal opinion. Not bad smokes by any means, I will admit. So certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Seven and a half out of 10 for the Seneca Medium 100 cigarettes. Thank you so much once again to Fred Scott for sending this pack of cigarettes over to my PO box. And uh, let me know in the comments down below. Did what I describe in today's video make you think that you would enjoy these cigarettes right here? Let me know in the comments. Oh, and I completely forgot to say, comparable cigarettes to these ones right here. These are actually more unique tasting than not. I'd have to say the most comparable cigarettes on the United States market to these right here are not even a budget cigarette. They're Chung Waz. Chung Waz. They are taste-wise, a little bit comparable, but not really super comparable, but those are the ones that come to mind. When I first got these lit up, and when I first started analyzing the taste, the cigarette that really came to mind was Chung Waz. Um, but, but, I can't really think of any other cigarettes that are super comparable, and even when compared to Chung Waz, these are still not super comparable in my personal opinion. These are more than likely most comparable to other Seneca cigarettes, of course. Not a bad smoke, though, at all. Let me know in the comments down below, though, if uh, you guys have tried these before. Let me know what you guys think of them, if you guys have tried them before. And, of course, let me know if you guys think uh, what I described in today's video would be to or not to your personal preference. But, you know, thank you so much for watching my review of the Seneca Medium 100 cigarettes. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this review, this video. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to, well, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my second channel all in the description down below go check it all out you know thank you so much for watching y'all till the next one stay safe and peace and have a great one yes sir yes sir you know what i'm saying i'm saying